morning, everybody, and welcome to Chassidus in the Morning. 15 minutes to change our lives. Learning in the Altar of Mukhtar about the union of Shavuos, Matanteo. This share is for Shalema, for Tzion, Ben, Sarah. Have a speed for Shalema. Okay, so yesterday we were discussing question the Altar had is that why was the Torah, yeah, the question is why is the Torah given Har Sinai? So we know, very famous, that the idea that the reason why the Torah given Har Sinai, like it was done from Targum Yudison, that the Torah given Har Sinai because it was very small and very, uh, very, uh, yeah, small and weak, it says. Whereas other mountains they all come, they said they wanted to be given, be given on them. But Hashem said, no, because, the, because you guys are all holy and, and the Mahasana is not, and that's why we get to turn this. So, so we were discussing yesterday, really what's going on over here. The question, the question is that, that what, is, what does it mean to be humble? That's essentially our question. What does it mean to be humble? That's what we're going to discuss today more. Because the way I understood it when I was way back when, <clears throat> and I think a lot of a lot of people understand that being humble means being a nobody. And, and you know, the, these, this sitting from the past, you hear these stories, and it sounds very much like they thought themselves as nobodies. And, and being humble means you don't think of anything of, of yourself. You don't think highly of yourself. And here, that's what I that's what we understood. I understood when I learned to this in Shiva. I don't think it ever really changed my Shiva experience. That's how I understood it. You know, uh, Hasid is someone that's humble, wasn't humble. He's a nobody. He's a, a bitl. What's bitl? Bitl is I don't exist. And that's what it is. That's how I'm meant to be. And someone that has yeshus, someone that has, uh, he thinks himself as a, as a somebody. You should think yourself as a nobody. That's what it's meant to be. And, what, and, and so, but when, when you think in this term, what comes out? I'm a nobody, and everything I do doesn't really, doesn't give, doesn't have any shivers, because I'm a nobody. And even when you do the right thing, but really, yeah, you're always on top of yourself. Hey, me? I can't do so good. Like, I, I'm not, that's not that good. The rabbi does good things. What am I doing? Yeah, and even so the good thing you do, but really, in comparison to everything else that I do, I'm not that good. And therefore, in, in a lot of your life, you know, and then you look at you look at the people that, that don't learn chassidus, they think of themselves on a very high level, you know, and you laugh at them, say, oh, you don't you know, the you don't understand, you think you're a tzaddik, really, halavai, you'd be bainani, and you're a rasha, not not a bad, not a rasha in the sense of a bad person, but a rasha that you that you give into yourself. If I give in, and I give into myself, and I know I don't always listen to eight to and listen to eight therefore I'm also not that good. And so bitl is like being honest with yourself. I know I'm not that good. And I have bitl, you see? I have bitl, but I'm not good. And I know that. And I'm honest with myself. And this is how we see, and this is a lot of, this is a lot of the way perspective of, in, of the way I grew up and the way I, a lot of people, like everyone that I knew, understood it. This is bitl. And today, Mitzah Hashem, we're going to learn what the altar ever says bitl is. Not what we think and what we've somehow misconstrued, what the altar ever says. And, um, and they have some footnotes, beautiful footnotes over here, and the Rebbe as well. So we're going to see it from, the, from what's, the, what's the, Hasidish, the, the, Hasidish, the Hasidic perspective of this concept. We're going to learn it. So, yeah, see, essentially, we were quite, that was the question we were asking, why was you going to And ultimately, it was because Hasinai was very humble. And then we end up talking about Toyo and Tikkun. At, at the Ur in Toyo, Toyo was a, was a world that had a lot of light and they wanted to shine a lot of godliness. They didn't have a lot of vessels to receive that godliness. And Tikkun is opposite. So basically, because the world was, because, so when, we're, when we have, we are like this level of Toyo, there's a lot of light that we want to express ourselves a lot, we want to give over, even if it's, it's good things, like Toyo, it's, it's a good godly level. Ultimately, like we said, we learned in, and what comes out of that in this physical world is yeshus and, and the opposite. And that's what we're, we're discussing. It's a bit. Yeah. 
Like that's what he said. He goes, like it's known from the idea of the breaking of the vessels that causes in this physical world to have yeshus. And therefore, a person should, should that's why the Torah was given on, on these mountains, that these mountains were all very yeshus to. And Hasina was a very humble, a very uh, yeah, humble mountain, and therefore the Torah is going over this. So he says, Vayikar Torah hu liyaz bechinas bittul. The main thing of Torah is to have bittul, like it says in the pasuk, Vloy sechalulu eshem kachi. You shouldn't profane. So literally, it means you shouldn't profane eshem kachi, my holy name. You should be sanctified from the Jewish people. Ani Hashem mekadosh, Hashem Hashem sanctify you. That's what the pasuk is saying is that we shouldn't profane, but halal also comes from words halal void. Don't void my name, meaning don't make my name void. Don't make, because of your ego, my name void. Meaning Hashem can't be in this world. It's through your ego, like it says, it says that Hashem says that I and him cannot dwell in the same place. When someone has ego, you, as Sheshtab says, ego stands for edging God out. When you have ego, Push God out. So what does it mean? And so that's what we have to understand here. What does it mean, ego? What does it mean, bitl? And this is what it means. Like it says in a Reuven. A person puts himself like a midbar, like a desert. What does it mean to make yourself like a desert? Shehakal, dashing boy, that everyone steps on you. And Rashi explained to Pesha, Rashi, she'en like gas. It means, what does it mean everyone steps on you? It means you have no ego, you know, haughtiness. Teira nis na leib matana. Teira is given to him as a present. The we look at this, and what is it telling us? I have to be like dirt and dust and ash. Never can tear stuff on me. I'm a, I'm a, what is it called? Uh, you know, they can just step on all over me. I'm a nobody, and that's it's a, this is what the altar was saying. This is chiddush. This is how it's meant to be. That I don't think of myself anything. Anything that I do doesn't really matter. Anything it's not really worth it. Because you know, who am I? I'm a nobody. It's like the joke. In times of the Baal Shem Tov, that people had false understandings of themselves trying to be like a whole holy and so, and so one time this guy came to a non shatan and he was there for shana i mean uh, for him for and when they had to call up everyone to like to get the terror by our coffees so he went to the guy and he said you should announce all that novim all the humble people should come up so you understand that if you're humble so then why would you come up i'm humble but, but if I do come up, you know, so basically he did it. And so the guy announced, all, all that novim should come up. So everyone saw these guys that are running up. I'm an of, I'm an of. And they all start laughing, whatever. So come on, like it says, we say it in davening, this is a beautiful part. My soul, ka'afa, like dirt, lachalti, should be like for everyone. And then it says, Pesach Libus Yosecha. So the Pesach says, Nafshi, Ka'afalokotiya, Pesach Libus Yosecha. And my soul, like dust, to everyone should be. And then it says, and my, open my heart to Tehra. But, but the Tehra we're saying here is that through being, Venafshi, Ka'afalokotiya, through having bitum, through being like dust in front of everybody, so then you receive the Tehra. Pesach, then you'll, you'll open your heart to Tehra. So, hey, you should have all this bitum, you should be like dust, and you should be like the desert, and everyone can step on you. What does this all mean, and how do we understand all this? That's why the Torah is given to Sinai. Why? Because the Machich, it was small, it was humble, it was low. To Indian and shiftless, which is the idea of lowness. Sheinu and Magbias also doesn't raise itself up. Doesn't have a big haughty, big ego. Yeah. So this is sort of the the answer to the first question. The first question we had was why was the Torah given Harsinai on any other mountain? And ultimately, it's because Harsinai was bitter. The other mountains were very haughty, very big. Look how big I am, look how great I am. Hasinai was a very small and very nebachi. And that's why the Torah is given to Hasinai. And now that Trevor, based off this information, can ask a very beautiful question. Page six in these sheets. He goes, ah, however, Tariq Lav, we need to understand, Imkain, such a fundamental point, Imkain, Lam Haya Shumhar. Alto ask, it's a klutz question. Simple question, like we said in the last sikha that we learned, a lot of the questions that Chassidus brings, uh, if you think about it, they're very simple. The answer is profound. You need to know a lot of Chassidus and a lot of Torah. But the question, we should be able to have ourselves. Alto asks, if, if we're saying the whole reason why the Torah is given to Sinai, 
That's because our Sinai was such a small, low mountain at you know, Bitum. But what's the ultimate level of Bitum? The ultimate you're going to say, hey, humility, like dust, we said like dust and like sand. So what's the ultimate humility? Give the terror in a valley. Give the terror in, in the desert, in the field. Why is the terror given on a mountain? It's against everything we're talking about. We're talking about you have to have bitter, you have to be a nobody. And now, and now we're saying, the terror is going on, 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 the, on the mountain. So how does that work? Let's see, for the, let's see in the altar of words. After we need to understand, Im Kain, Lama Why is there a mountain? Why is the terror given on a mountain? Shaharei, Gam Har Sinai, who hark upon him? Because Har Sinai is a mountain. Ultimately, it's still a mountain. Small mountain, but it's a mountain. Chu Inyun Hagva. This is an idea of, of, of wholeness, of raise up, up, of ego. Rak Sheinu Kavaka, it's not so big. Seemingly, it's, it's, a going, it's a contradiction to everything we've been talking about. And the reason why the Torah was given to Har Sinai was because it was small, because it's the idea of humility and, and, and humbleness. Whereas all the other mountains were tall, which is ego. So if you want to show this idea of Bittal, like we said before, they should have be like dust. A mountain, then don't do a mountain, do a, do a field, do a valley. Aval Inyan, also explains, and this is, this is, think about 200, more than 250 years ago. This is also explained. Aval Inyan, the idea is, Bemes, but in truth, you really want to understand this matter. Even though we have to be very, very humble, like everything that we said until now. But Mikhail Markov, nevertheless, you have to have some like self esteem and and you have to raise the life to be strong. He's strong. He puts here in his, like, uh, he adds in and courageous. Very interesting way to describe it. And courageous, and some self-esteem. Like it says, he should raise up, he should lift up his heart to Hashem. Because, and this also explains, because if you're literally like dust, and you don't, if you think of yourself as a nobody, a literal nobody, I'm a nobody, I'm a nothing, I'm a worthless, and everything that doesn't make a difference, that's not chassidish, but if you do that, you're going to give up on yourself and you say, it's just worthless. Everything I do worthless doesn't make a difference. And who cares? What's the difference? You're going to say, who am I? What's my work? What, what, what's worth what I'm doing? I'm not doing anything. It's worthless. And I'm worthless. And we think it's chassidish. We say, I'm worthless. And everything I do doesn't matter. And we look at ourselves and who cares? Who's me? I'm a nobody. And, and, and we think this is is telling us. And I once had to bring with the guy for hours discussing this point. And, and he like he looked at me like I'm mad. Like, where, where, are you getting, where are you making this stuff up from? Everything I learned this is telling you nobody. So I've been with him for hours about this. And I'm like, everything, and, and, and if you start to see this, you look at everything that says, and you, and you see it. It's like, you know, it's, it's like uh, it says, the marshal. We've got to finish up. But the marshal says in Parak, uh, Simple one, one explanation. It says that in Hashem Nitzav Allah, Hashem stands over you and is watching everything you do. Um, or, yeah, him over the career and he's checking clothes, but leave and the recess, the depth of the heart if you're serving properly. So you can learn and you can say to yourself, well, look what it's saying. Hashem is looking to catch me out because I'm a bad person. You see, I'm a nobody. And he's like, oh, let's see this nobody doing nothing. Yeah, yeah, I caught you. And that's what we do to ourselves. And when we sit there and we don't learn something, or we don't do what we're meant to be doing for it could be for months and years. The one day we come and do it, what do we say to ourselves? Ah, oh, you're a nobody. Who do you think you are? You did it once. I know who you really are. But, but the, really the taiches, like it says over there, really the taiches that Hashem cares about what you do. You're not a nobody. If you're a nobody, then why are you here? Why did Hashem create you? Hashem made a whole world and he made a whole shade of Yishtashlis. He spent it's, it's a lot of effort to make a to make a world. That, that God doesn't even, his presence not even naturally felt. Why did he do that? He did it for us to do a mitzvah. We have to appreciate this. And this is what we're saying here. He's saying, if you think you're a nobody, everything is worthless, you're never going to do anything. You're going to say, who cares what I do? It doesn't matter. And you know what? So I can do an avera because I'm a nobody anyway. I'm, I'm worthless. I'm a waste of space. Chas And these are things we can say to ourselves. 
And so even in, in the case of this person I'll spring with, I spoke about, I was about it and sort of like, he's like, oh, interesting. And I remember like, even like a year later, he was like, oh, look at this, you see, I'm right. And he, proved, he showed me some, some moments of love, like a one liner. And I'm like, listen, I don't know the whole context, you can't just send it to me, but for sure, I said, for sure, it's not talking about your nobody in that context, what you think about it. Yeah, so we said, so we end up saying, so what do you have to, you have to realize that, that the reason why the Torah is given on a mountain, this is the virus. The reason why the Torah is given on a mountain is specifically because it's a mountain, because you need to be a mountain. You don't need to be a huge mountain, but you need to be a mountain. You need to recognize yourself as a somebody and as what you do means something. But if you don't, then it's going to, then, then you're never going to achieve. And, and you're, going to, you're going to be depressed and, and, and down and, and, and it's just going to not get you in the right way. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna continue tomorrow. There's a lot of good stuff here, but we're gonna get going on the day, unfortunately. So everyone should recognize that they're a mountain. You're gonna have to look at yourself as a huge mountain, but you've got to be a mountain. You be Thanks, Rabbi. In your mountain, have a great day.